Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 17 iPhone tricks that you probably didn't know existed. These are features that have been added to iOS 13 even though a couple of them can be found on older iOS versions as well but you probably didn't know that these existed because they are pretty hidden within iOS. So here are 17 iPhone tricks that you didn't know existed. Starting off with the live photos. Now this is a feature specific to iOS 13, it's a new feature. So what you can do with your live photos, you couldn't do this before, but you can now with iOS 13. Now I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't know about it. Any live photo that you take with your iOS 13 device, you can convert them easily into videos. So here I have a live photo, of course, I need a 3D touch on it to make it play. I can turn that into a video file simply by tapping the share button and then just scroll right here and tap save as video as easy as that you can turn that live picture as you can see right here into a video on ios 13 in the safari app it is very simple to make a bookmark of a web page so here i'm on youtube now you have to do this on the landscape mode you cannot do this on the portrait mode so just turn around your iphone go to the landscape mode and just basically tap and hold one of the tabs just drag it like this and tap that plus button and then it will take you to the first page and right here all you gotta do is just place the tab here and as you can see it will create a bookmark of that tab now if you're using safari on the landscape mode on your iphone and ipad as well on ipad os 13 then you can just simply force touch on any of the tabs that you have opened and you can arrange the tabs you can arrange them by title or by website so just tap right there and you can see it will rearrange all the tabs that you have currently opened on safari on ios 13 there is a new feature called voice control that feature lets you control your iphone completely with just your voice and it can do quite a lot so if you go to settings go to accessibility and go right here to voice control enable it you will see that you will have the ability to easily reboot your device using voice control so with rebooting devices with devices that have like no home button you will have to press the up and down volume buttons and then tap and hold the volume the power button right here but with voice control all you gotta do is just say reboot device and as you can see right here it will give you the option to reboot your device just tap restart and you're good to go it will reboot your device on the photos app on ios 13 and i believe on all the devices as well i believe this is a feature also available on ios 12 if you go to an album where you have your pictures you want to move some of them to another album all you gotta do is just tap on one of them and just basically drag it like this and you can go ahead and select others as well just like you select apps to move on the home screen once you have done that you can go back to the photos app and you can go and place them to any of the other albums that you have so just drag them from one album to another so simply just like you do with the apps on the home screen you can just basically collect any pictures that you want and move them from one album to another when you're on an album of pictures on iOS 13 in the new photos app, you can go ahead and easily find any of the pictures in the all photos section. So you know on iOS 13 you will have the albums and also you have a new tab called all photos where you will find all of your photos. But if you want to find one of your photos on the all photos tab, all you gotta do is just go to one of your albums, just force touch on any of them and tap right here show in all photos and it will show it automatically. On iOS 13, whenever you're on a list view like this, like on the notes app or on the messages app on email, and you want to select a bunch of these like notes or emails, all you have to do, you don't have to tap here and then go to edit or whatever, select or whatever, but you can just simply tap with two fingers and scroll down just as easy as that. So you can see how easy it is to select any notes or anything that you want again on any list views when you can select stuff like this like on iMessage email or notes here you can just simply just drag two fingers down like this and you can select quickly anything you want if you're like me and you use Google Chrome a lot on your iPhone then this is a really really cool trick so you have a picture on the camera roll of your iPhone like a wallpaper or something and you want to find it on the internet like you want to find a link to that all you gotta do is just go to the basically to the photos app and just force touch 
on any photo that you want to find and just click copy right there once you have copied that just go to google chrome tap on the search bar and it will show you right there image copied all you got to do is just tap right there and then it will find you that image on the internet so basically it will google that image you can see right here it finds that image that i have copied on the clipboard of my iphone on iOS 13, you can scan documents using the Notes app as well as the Files app. But you can do that also without opening any of these apps. Just go ahead, open the Control Center, just force touch on the icon of the Notes and you will have right here a button to quickly scan any document. So you need to quickly scan a document, just open Control Center right here, force touch and tap Scan Document. On the notes app on ios 13 you get the normal list view of the notes right here but if you just swipe down then it will show you the search bar as well as these squares right there now if you tap on it you can see right here it will change to the gallery view and this looks really really cool you can see how cool that looks you will have this gallery view of all the notes that you have now the same trick that i showed you earlier using two fingers will work on the gallery view as well so all you got to do is just place two fingers and you can go ahead and select any of your notes as easy as that when you're on a web page on safari in ios 13 you will see at the top right there two a's so all you got to do is just tap on it and it will show you this menu which allows you to hide the toolbar and also request the desktop site but you can go ahead and change the settings for any specific website that you have opened on safari so just tap here on website settings and then from here you will be able to configure this website and then those settings will apply anytime you open that website so you will have request desktop site right there and also use reader view automatically so if you enable that click done every time you open that website it will go to the to the desktop mode automatically so that's a setting that will be saved for that website on ios 13 you also will have the ability to share websites but there is a trick to it so if you tap on the share button and you want to share a website you will have this options right there so just tap on that little button and then you can go ahead and choose if you want to send the website as a pdf file or as a web archive or you can leave it on automatic if you want to but you want to just like send a website as a pdf file which is very very convenient just go ahead and select it right here click done and now you can go ahead and share it on the voice memos app on ios 13 if you go to edit any of the voice memos that you have you can go ahead and just zoom in so you can see the track right there you can go ahead and zoom in and out to easier edit any of your voice memos so you can see right here you can zoom in quite a lot and that of course will make it way easier for you to edit any of your voice memos on the iMessage app on iOS 13, it's pretty complicated to delete a message. So you want to delete one of these messages, you will have to tap and hold on it. And then you will have to tap like more here and then it will select it and then you can go ahead and delete it. But there is a trick that allows us to do that way faster. All you got to do is just tap with two fingers on a message and as you can see, it will automatically be selected. And then of course, you will have the option to delete it. On iOS 13, if you want to share a picture with someone, so you want to send a picture that you took to someone, you can go ahead and enable or disable the information as well as the location of that picture. So once you want to share a picture, make sure you tap on the options right there. And then you can go ahead and include the location and also all photos data. So on the all photos data, you will have like all the other stuff and right there at the top you will have just the location where the picture has been taken so if you don't want to include the location where you took that picture just go ahead and turn that off apple has added a ton of new gestures on ios 13 and one of them is using three fingers to tap on the screen and it will show you that menu right there now from there you can undo redo cut copy and also paste so i have something copied on the clipboard of my device i can just go ahead and tap right there to paste it i want to undo it just tap right there i want to redo it just tap right there you can go ahead and cut as well as copy anything that you have selected with this new menu that has been added to ios 13. 
So that's basically it for this video guys, these are 17 tricks that can be found on your iPhone on iOS 13 and you probably didn't even know that they existed. So that's pretty much it, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to leave a like, also don't forget to check my other video that I did previously on 23 other tricks that you probably didn't know existed on iOS 13. Again, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more and I'll see you on the next one.